ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for five Greek girls and it's for the UK Fighting Championships Lightweight Sam Slater, Martin Chester. Lightweight title on the line here at UK Fighting Championships. Slater representing SPG Ireland. Paddy Hulan in his corner. Here Rex MMA representative, Martin Chester. So I, I've seen Spencer fight before. Very sharp striker, durable, tough as well. You know, you come from SB Island, you know these guys are going to be well versed. Yeah. Nice inside low kick. Those low kicks are messing with him. This is what Martin wants, I think. Yeah, trying to close down that distance. He's got good head position in there, nice tight underhook. See so Slater fishing for an underhook of his own to try and turn his back off the fence. Single leg attempt from Chester. Good balance being shown by Slater here. Oh! Look for the knee to the head. I think he's been uh, working with Ido Portal with that balance. Hey, man. Martin. Chester staying on that clean, it's nice and tight. Staying heavy against the cage. Looking for the double. S swapped it, looking for, yeah, pulling up the single leg now. Maybe gonna look to step behind and trip him down. Yeah. And whilst you've got to commend the, the balance and the defence of Slater from this position, you know, he, he's just defending. That's all it is. And you've got Chester pushing the pace and trying to attack out to the back now. On looks his for back the... now, drags him down. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's looking for. It looked like he was going for a volley drop, but then he went on the inside with a leg. Uh, trying which to is take it. his back. Looks for the knee bar to Slater. Spencer's just not got to let him, got to turn in towards that knee, not let him get it straight for the angle. He's got to turn back into him. Chester being patient, yeah. listening to his corner. If he can pass that leg and he needs it there, he's there all, it all the way out. Onto the back now of Slater. But again, Slater looking composed, calm. Both folks are in now oh. for Chester. Has he got that choke in? He's off to the side though, not the best position to finish, but it does look under the chin. Slater trying to fight the choke off, that's under the chin. He hasn't got a great angle, but he is under the chin. So if he can keep that squeeze going, Slater trying to turn him towards his chest, That's which is the right thing to yeah, do. Slater's and he's out. And he's out. Excellent work by Slater. And now Slater's on top, looking to take the back himself. Both corners frantically shouting advice at their fighters. Nice trip there from Slater to get on top. Looking to pass that knee slide through for the half guard, for the half guard pass. Nice. Straight side control, and he's on the back. I mean, that transition was smooth. That was beautiful, seamless. Looking to control the wrist. Obviously going to help him in the fight for the choke. Excellent but he's run out competitive of time. first round. Yeah, very, very nice. That is a great first round. That is three minutes of back and forth fighting between two. two Clearly very talented amateurs. I mean, I weigh, I weighing, weighing that one up. God, probably Chester maybe spent more time in control, got to the back, was close with the choke. But then Slater, you know, last minute of the round, managed to turn it round, get on top. You know, the best excuse in the world for when we do this job is simply this. There are three guys who are paid to watch it for that kind of detail, and I'm paid to watch it for a little bit of fun and I couldn't tell you who won that round. I, I was leaning towards Sam, but you started talking, now I'm second guessing myself. 
<laughs> so malleable, Steve. So easily influenced. Yeah, that's 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 the problem. I'm sitting next to a Renaissance man. I got it. Excited for the second round. This is going to be uh, exciting. There were some good stand-up exchanges early on in the first until Chester forced that clinch. Very exciting. Looking again for that inside low kick is Slater, but he ate a straight left from yeah. the South Port Chester. Rocked his head back, but didn't take his eyes off him. Back to that kind of very, he's, he's, he's got a really smooth movement. Yeah, it's kind of bouncy. It's a bit Gunnar Nelson-esque, you know, with a little bit side on, quite bouncy, flicking. And again, Chester forces the clinch, stuffs his man on the fence. Working for that single again. Slater, great balance from that position. Great hips great there, hit. but he gets taken down. Slam to side control. And the uh, the reps MMA faithful. Big cheer from him there. Chester trying almost to out to the, the back, in. one hook. Slater trying to turn in with that Kimura grip. I mean, it's not, sometimes that's just enough to threaten the guy to come off your back if you're worried about that being tight. He's going to go high crotch, maybe. Oh, nice Kimura roll there. I'm sure there's a beautiful judo name for it, which I don't know. And, uh, I like the way you said it. I understood it. Oh, he's armbar. working the armbar. And he might oh, have that tight. He might have it. Chester's gripping there, but Slater's got a lot of time to work this. This. Th and he's broken the grip, has he? Not, not quite. Yet. This will be a... This is a, this will be a big scout. And he's doing the right thing, changing the angle, trying to take the angle away from the, the grip strength of Chester, putting all his weight. Chester's going to try and come up on top. Oh, and he does. If he can keep his weight on the arm now, get his knee behind Slater's butt, try and take some of the pressure off from his hips, and he gets it free. Nice, nice work. Nice work. Now he's inside the guard and he's on top. And that was close, Steve. Yeah. That was a, a very close armbar. <laughs> what, what, what's he looking for here when, when he's trying to take the heads, he's trying to set? If he can get past the legs, this, there is something to be done with the head, but inside the guard, not so much. But then you see, I think it made, maybe made Slater think, you know, but if Chester can't get past the guard, there's no choke. If he can get past the guard, there can be a guillotine there. And look at... And that's it. it. There was almost a guillotine there, but he's let Slater pass the guard. Straight into gone. Side, and, and right into side controls. Well, and the one thing Slater's shown that uh, I, I, you know, he's, he's, he's Chester's equal. And the top position here could be a bad day for him. Yeah, a bit of a shoulder of justice there on the left hand side for Slater. Oh, that's just driving nice. some pressure. It's not supposed to be nice, Steve. No, it's no. I, it's supposed to be the exact opposite of nice. Yeah, I, I had Jimmy Wallhead do that to me. Yeah, I know that it's not nice. That's a bit of a uh, John Cavanagh special, that one. But and that, you know, Slater really took the momentum back in that round. Came very close with that armbar. He was riding out the final seconds of the round on top as well. And this is shaping up to be... Yeah, this could be quite a tasty yeah. third round. I mean, this is not... This is not Reese Chester, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. This is, you know, very measured from both guys, very technical. Both guys are clearly well-versed in all the ranges. Round three of five for uh, the title. If, Chester, if Martin Chester didn't know he was in a fight, he does now. Slater's not here to lie down for the uh, hometown boy. Yeah, and Slater looks fresh, fresh and ready to go. Again, going inside with that low kick. Chester tries to fire back. There is something about his movement. I mean, and he even seems to be throwing Chester's timing off. There's something, it's just something about the way Slade's moving that, that, that's making Chester just hold off pulling the trigger. Yeah, he fights really well against the southpaw. 
You know, anybody think they've got a good southpaw somewhere in there, Jim? Yeah, maybe one, <laughs> two. But good work from Slater, got the trip on top. And now he's found himself on top really early in this round. With the time to work. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, what, you know, how, his, how, how he chooses to play the top, top game. Whether he's going to look for some shots or whether he's going to work submissions. Keeping the arm trapped there on the far side, passes it through. Works to take his back and now going to try and put that hook in. Yeah, that got, right a, hook in. got a nice cross wrist position there. Oh, there. He's under the chin. Under the chin. While Chess is worrying about the arm, he yeah. slides it under the oh, deck. And, that and that's that tight. Looks tight. Beautiful work there from Sam Slater. This could be all she wrote. And it's the over. Top. Sam Slater with the finish. That's a huge win for Sam Excellent Slater. Excellent grappling. Great, great win. And you saw him tee up the arm, two on one on the opposite side. While Martin Chester was worrying about that, straight arm under the chin, and that was all she wrote from there. Lovely performance. Excellent work from Sam Slater. Not all bad for Martin Chester. He had his moments, but Slater there got stronger and stronger as the fight went on. And just, yeah, and again, his movement, he just seemed so smooth, so ready to go. Excellent, excellent performance. Excellent performance. This fight has reached the conclusion.